Did you know that the female uterus is approximately about 3 inches long and 2 inches wide and can expand up to 20 times during pregnancy, which is crazy if you think about it. Oh, there are so much more gasp-worthy facts still left to be learned. So join me as we explore more on the female reproductive system and the marvelous job it fulfills. Our objectives are to have an overview of the organs of the female reproductive system. In a woman, the reproductive organs are vagina, cervix, uterus, fallopian tubes, and ovaries. All these organs work together to menstruate, conceive, and reproduce. The vagina is a tube-like structure which ends at the cervix. This is the region situated between the vagina and the uterus. The cervix leads into the cervical canal, which continues as the uterus. The uterus is a muscular organ comprising the outer layer, middle layer and inner layer. On either side of the uterus are the fallopian tubes. They extend from the upper side of the uterus and lead to the ovaries. The ovaries are oval shaped and are attached to the upper part of the uterus by the ovarian ligament and behind it is located the broad ligament. Near the ovaries, a funnel-like structure is observed that helps to collect the mature egg. If we see a section of the ovary, we observe an outer epithelium. It is followed by a cortex region with the ovarian follicles at different stages of maturity, each of which contains an egg. The innermost part of the ovary consists of blood vessels and nerves. Every month, one egg follicle matures. This follicle releases its egg through the process of ovulation. To summarize, the female reproductive organs include a tube-like vagina continuing into the cervix. The cervix connects it to the muscular uterus. On either side of the uterus are the fallopian tubes, which extend from the upper part of the uterus to the primary reproductive organs the ovaries. My friends, I swear I didn't know that the female reproductive system was so intricate and complex at the same time. Definitely, we've learned so much from that video. Well, you do know that a newborn baby has fully developed organs and organ systems and is made up of trillions of cells, right? But do you know that we all start our life as a zygote, which is just a single cell entity?